Hi, this is a little quick headstand drill. There's a tripod headstand and there's also another type of headstand where your forearms are on the floor. Both of them are great, slightly different. Let's begin with a tripod headstand. Right, so we're gonna begin kneeling and place your hands just in front of your knee. So the heel of the hand is in line with where the knees start. And then draw a point in front of your hands and that's where your head's gonna rest. So that's the tripod and elbows. Be aware of these wings. You want the elbows tucking in. So control the arms, elbows squeezing in. And also I like to make sure that the space around me is safe. So that if I was gonna fall out, I'm not gonna go off the cliff or onto something dangerous. So hands down, head forward. Inhale, let's come up to down dog legs, squeezing the arms in. We're gonna bring the right knee to touch the right tricep and place the foot down. Left knee to left tricep and down. Let's repeat that, right and down, left and down. You'll keep squeezing those arms in. Last time, right knee, maybe also the left knee and you're gonna hold it there. Hold it there, hold it there. Maybe, maybe, maybe start to lift the head and you can transition that into a crow pose. And then let's come back down. We'll try that again with another little variation. All right, so set up again, hands just in front of the knees and the head aligned. So something that you wanna watch out for is you don't want your hands and head all in the same line because that's not a position of strength. You gotta think of a tripod, these three points, they are most stable when they're spread out and in three different areas. So head to the floor. We're gonna lift the knees off the floor. Now you might come into that same point, bringing the knees to the arms and then start to bring the knees together and lift your feet up in the air. So that's coming up to a tripod headstand with bent legs. And then once you're there, find the ease. Okay, so there's a point where everything is perfectly aligned, one vertebrae stacked on top of the next, where you're not working that hard. So you can hold that for five to 10 breaths. Hands are still working hard, elbows are squeezing in. You could either come out the same way, bending the legs, bringing the knees to your arms, and then feet down, resting in child's pose. So for me, I learned, child, um, I learned headstand with the forearms on the floor. It does give more stability. But I found that if you're on an unstable surface, such as if you're trying to do a headstand on a stand-up paddleboard, this one with the hands, it gives you more sensory feedback and I find that it's easier to balance. Strangely enough. All right, we're gonna try lifting up with straight legs. So we'll give it a go. Hands to the floor, head just in front. Elbows are active, squeezing the arms in. Down dog legs, you could lift one leg up at a time and getting airborne with the right foot. So it does require some hamstring flexibility. So if the hamstrings are not so flexible, then you might come up, arms still in, knee at a time and have a little bunny hop. And then start lifting the knees and bringing the knees in. Knees up and knees in. One more, knees up. And then of course you can come to legs straight. Let's have a go of lowering the legs straight all the way down to the floor, move the buttocks over the head. And resting in child's pose. So that's tripod headstand. Let's have a go with the forearms on the floor, all very similar but your elbows are in quite close still, close enough that you can do this. You're gonna interlace your fingers and extend the little fingers. That will just stop you from rolling to the back of the hands. Nestle your head into the floor. And same thing, you might lift the feet off the floor, sorry, lift the knees off the floor and bringing maybe one knee into the chest and down, other knee into the chest and down. Maybe both knees into the chest, you'll have a little hop and then extending the legs, or, and then you can lower down that way, or maybe you're gonna come up with straight legs. Inhale, lift up, hold. It's 
to stay as long as you like. And especially if you have the support of a wall behind you, you can use that as a little touch base to give you confidence. When you're done slowly lowering down, arms extended for child's pose. So just like anything, this requires some perseverance and practice, but with repetition, you will find mastery for this pose and it will eventually become as easy to you as standing on your own two feet is. Namaste.